the wolf pack is back. With a monkey! He's a real, you can see it in his swag. Yup, yup, you can see it in his swag. He a boss, you can see it in his swag. How we walk, how we talk, you can see it in his swag. He for real, you can see it in his swag. Yup, yup, you can see it in his swag. He a boss, you can see it in his swag. How we walk, how we talk, you can see it in his swag. Yup, yup, you can see it. Yup, yup, you can see it. Yup, yup, you can see it. How we walk, how we talk, you can see it in his swag. The Hangover Part 2 <coughs> Fuck. You see this? This movie is only 2 years old and it's already considered a classic. A lot of people wanted a sequel, but I didn't. Because I knew it was gonna end up like this. By now a lot of people have been bashing The Hangover Part 2 for being a complete rehash of the original. And sadly, I can't disagree. The movie starts like a shot by shot remake. There's a wedding setup and then we get Bradley Cooper coming up somebody saying, Yeah, we, we fucked up, we fucked up again. Same shit, different climate. And setting the film of Bangkok just feels long. At least with the data setup, it was fun, colorful, relatable. The Bangkok setting is just nasty and scummy. We just want our characters to get the hell out of there. Matter of fact, we the audience just want to get the hell out of there. The film is not unwatchable, in fact, it's rather entertaining as a crime thriller, but that's not what we signed up for. We came to see a comedy, instead we get a nasty, violent, dirty, mean-spirited downer of a movie. Now that's not saying there's no humor. Most of the laughs come from Galifianakis who does his job well, even though his character has undergone some changes and not for the better. He starts off as a spoiled jackass and not the lovable chum we came to love in the original. Then as the movie rolls on, he seems to get dumber and dumber, almost to the point where he becomes mentally disabled. Ed Helms now takes center stage since now the story revolves around his character getting married. And for the most part, he's okay, but he just kind of pushes it a little bit. Bradley Cooper has now become the odd man out. He has thoughtless dialogue in the film and half the time it just seems like he's just standing there waiting for something to do. Kim Jong is back as Mr. Chow which he has some funny lines but he gets really annoying fast. The one I felt bad for is for the guy that played Doug. He's a part of the series yet he's never there. With the wolf pack it's like he's not eligible to join the club. At some point, at least this is what I felt, it just looked like the cast was frustrated and they weren't really sure what they were supposed to be doing. It's like they can almost tell that they were making a bad sequel and if, that, if that's what they were thinking, they were right. On a technical level, the film has some cool angles, some good cinematography, but this doesn't feel like a Todd Phillips film, it's like the studio suits came in and said, Now Todd, set up the camera, then go sit in your chair and shut up. We'll take it from here. I'm not going to call this a cash grab because the fans really wanted to see a sequel, but this was just rushed. They must have just thought that we're just too stupid to be able to tell the difference between what's original and what's not. The sequel just has lazy writing, and it changes the feel, the characters, the atmosphere, just everything we've come to love from the first film. And tries to slap in some mindless gags and shock value to distract you from the truth that this is a shitty sequel. Despite reading and hearing all the negative reviews, knowing what I was getting myself into, I still came out feeling disappointed. Maybe with another viewing, I might enjoy it more, but the flaws are still gonna be there. For now, I'm going to give The Hangover Part 2 a generous 2.5 star rating out of 5. Just on the offhand chance that this film becomes more enjoyable with future viewings. Plus, I will say that the photos in the end almost make up with what they did wrong with the actual film. This is Big Gable Stuff Burrito Entertainment. So I'm gonna stop Burrito Revolution and subscribe. Like to Facebook, follow the Burrito on Twitter, and drink responsibly. But this doesn't feel like a top for us film except the suits. But it... But this doesn't... La 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 la. But this doesn't feel like a top for us... Phew. Breather. Breather. But this doesn't feel like a Todd Phillips film. Ah, fuck! But this doesn't feel like a Todd Phillips film. It's like the studio. S but. <laughs> this doesn't. Oh my god. But, but this doesn't feel like a Todd Phillips. But this does. But this. But this doesn't feel like a. But this does. Oh my god. But this. Mm, but. But this doesn't. But this doesn't. Oh, do, 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 do. What cha cha cha?